Hello everyone, welcome back to Agriculture Insight. Did you know that American farmers harvest over 40 billion pounds of cantaloupe every year? Cantaloupe isn't just a refreshing and delicious fruit. It's also a symbol of summer, offering incredible nutrition and a distinct sweet flavor that everyone loves. Join us as we explore the fascinating journey from vast cantaloupe fields where each melon is carefully nurtured and harvested with skilled hands and the help of modern machinery. Afterward, these melons are sent to advanced processing facilities where they are cleaned, sorted, and prepared to make their way to family tables across the country. Now, let's step into the refreshing and vibrant world of cantaloupe. Let's get started. The magical journey of cantaloupes begins in the sprawling fields across California. As spring arrives, it marks the start of a brand new cantaloupe season. Before planting cantaloupes on large fields, advanced weeding machines are used to clear the ground efficiently. These machines are equipped with sharp blades and rotating tines that uproot weeds while loosening the soil, creating an ideal planting environment. After that, modern plowing machines take over their task. Equipped with rotating tines and sharp blades, modern tillers work efficiently on the soil surface, usually digging 5 to 10 centimeters deep. This process primarily focuses on loosening the top layer of soil, removing weeds, and breaking up clumps, which helps improve aeration and water absorption. It ensures the soil is soft and prepared for planting without disturbing deeper soil layers. After each pass of the plow, the soil feels revived, becoming soft and ready to soak up fresh nutrients. Farmers often combine this step with spreading organic fertilizer or lime to enrich the soil and balance its pH levels, ensuring it meets the optimal standards before planting begins. The next step is shaping the beds, a process that helps define the cantaloupe rows and ensures the drainage system works efficiently. Specialized bed shaping machines handle this task, forming raised soil beds about 20 to 30 centimeters high. These beds are carefully spaced 1.5 to 2 meters apart, providing plenty of room for the plants to grow and thrive. After the beds are shaped, the cantaloupe fields are ready for the next step. Mulching with plastic. Thin sheets of plastic are evenly spread and tightly secured over the surface of the soil beds, acting like a protective blanket for the ground. With all the careful preparation, the cantaloupe fields are now ready for the next phase, planting the seedlings. Semi-automatic planting machines are used to make the planting process as efficient as possible. These machines move slowly along the rows of soil covered in plastic mulch, where small planting holes have already been prepared. Farmers sit comfortably on the machines, carefully taking each seedling and planting it directly into the pre-made holes with precision. The work doesn't stop after planting. Farmers use specialized machines to set up white plastic frames that protect the young cantaloupe plants. These machines move along the rows, stretching the white plastic sheets and securing them onto curved frames, creating a series of mini greenhouses for the seedlings. After planting, the cantaloupe seedlings take about 70 to 90 days to fully develop. By early summer, the plants begin to bloom decorating the fields with bright yellow flowers that add a touch of brilliance to the landscape. This is also the time when farmers remove the plastic frames, giving the plants more space to grow naturally and allowing the flowers to be pollinated by wind or insects. Once the flowers have developed into fruit and the cantaloupes have completed their growth stage, farmers start watching for signs to determine the perfect time for harvesting. One of the clearest indicators is the color of the rind. It changes from a deep green to a lighter yellow or creamy gold, depending on the variety of cantaloupe. Additionally, the stem near the fruit often begins to dry out and slightly detach, signaling that the melon has reached its peak ripeness. The cantaloupe's aroma is another special reminder. When you gently touch the area near the stem, you can detect a sweet, fragrant smell, a signature sign that the fruit is ready to be picked. On large fields in the United States, farmers use conveyor belts to efficiently harvest cantaloupes. They walk alongside the conveyor, carefully inspecting the plants for perfectly ripe melons. Once they spot a ripe cantaloupe, they gently pick it and place it onto the conveyor belt. 
The conveyor is designed to operate smoothly, ensuring the delicate skin of the cantaloupes remains undamaged. The melons are then transported directly to storage bins on trailers, preserving their freshness. This process not only saves labor, but also increases productivity, making the harvest season quicker and more efficient. On many cantaloupe farms in the United States, the harvest workforce is often made up of immigrant workers, primarily from Mexico and Central America. These hardworking individuals are essential to the success of the cantaloupe industry, spending long days under the sun to carefully pick and handle the melons. Depending on the region and the season, these workers are typically paid between $12 to $15 per hour, though some farms may offer a piece rate system where workers are compensated based on the quantity of melons harvested. A productive farm can yield around 20,000 to 30,000 pounds of cantaloupes per acre in a season, depending on weather conditions, soil quality, and farming techniques. With the current market price for cantaloupes averaging around 50 to 75 cents per pound, the gross revenue per acre can range from $10,000 to $22,500. After deducting expenses like labor, equipment, seeds, water, and fertilizers, the farm owner might see a profit margin of 20% to 30%. For example, a farm harvesting 100 acres of cantaloupes could potentially net $200,000 to $675,000 in profit, depending on yields and market conditions. In addition, some farms use specialized trailers with built-in packing areas to streamline the process. Farmers carefully pick ripe cantaloupes and place them directly onto the trailer, where workers on board sort and pack the cantaloupes into boxes. This setup allows for immediate packaging right in the field, saving time and preserving the freshness of the cantaloupes. It's an efficient system that combines harvesting and packing in one seamless operation. In less modern farms, the harvesting process relies heavily on the hard work of farmers without the aid of advanced machinery. Across large fields, teams of farmers carefully inspect the rows of cantaloupes, picking only the ripest and best quality ones. Once harvested, they gently place the cantaloupes onto waiting trailers, ensuring the delicate skins remain undamaged. The melons are neatly arranged on the trailers, ready to be transported to processing or packing areas. While this method requires significant labor and time, the farmer's dedication ensures the cantaloupes maintain their quality from the field to the consumer's hands. After being carefully harvested from the fields, the fresh cantaloupes continue their journey to processing facilities. At the facility, the cantaloupe-filled bins are unloaded and sent to the cleaning area. Each cantaloupe is thoroughly washed using a high-pressure water spray system, removing any dirt and debris left from the fields. After cleaning, the melons are moved to the sorting area, where workers carefully inspect each one. Based on factors like color, size, and ripeness, the cantaloupes are sorted by hand to ensure only the highest quality fruits are selected. Melons with a creamy yellow color, uniform size, and distinctive sweet aroma are chosen for packaging. Meanwhile, those that don't meet the standards or have minor imperfections are set aside for processing into other products. There are two main types of melons, smooth-skinned melons and ribbed-skinned melons. Cantaloupes are known for their distinctive netted or ridged skin, with colors that range from greenish-yellow to pale orange. Compared to honeydew melons, cantaloupes have thinner skin but are still sturdy enough to protect the juicy flesh inside. The flesh of a cantaloupe is bright orange, juicy, and sweeter than honeydew. It also has a stronger, more distinct aroma, making it a popular choice for those who love bold, natural flavors. Cantaloupes are widely grown in North America and Mediterranean countries like France and Italy, where the warm climate and well-drained soil create ideal growing conditions. 
These melons are typically enjoyed fresh, in salads, smoothies, or paired with cured meats like prosciutto for an elegant appetizer. With their rich sweetness and strong aroma, cantaloupes are perfect for dishes that call for a burst of natural flavor. Honeydew melons have smooth, shiny skin without any netting or ridges, ranging in color from pale green to light yellow. The thicker skin provides excellent protection for the soft, juicy flesh inside, keeping the melon fresh and delicious. The flesh is a light green or creamy white color, smooth and packed with moisture. Its flavor is mildly sweet, not too intense, with a gentle aroma that makes it a refreshing choice on a hot day. Honeydew melons are commonly grown in the United States, Mexico, and China, thriving in warm, dry climates that support their growth and high quality. These melons are versatile and can be eaten fresh, blended into smoothies, or added to fruit salads. Their subtle sweetness makes them a favorite ingredient for light and refreshing desserts, especially during summer. Now you've gained a complete understanding of how farmers harvest and process billions of pounds of cantaloupes each year. Thank you for joining me on this fascinating journey. If you have any questions or would like to share your thoughts, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated on more inspiring stories about the world of agriculture. Goodbye, and see you in the next video.